the richest crocodile in the world, Daniel Postgate. There were only a very few rich animals in the world, and the richest by far was a crocodile. He lived in a crumbly old mansion in Africa. That crocodile had his very own cinema. He had a beautiful walled garden, full of exotic plants and flowers and butterflies from all around the world. Dot, and he owned absolutely loads of ears, motorbikes, and planes, even helicopters, which he could drive, write and fly about in whenever he fancied. He had a library so stuffed with books it would take a whole lifetime to read them. And at night he would sit out on his balcony and watch the stars through his gigantic telescope. He was a very lucky crocodile indeed. One day, the crocodile looked through his telescope, across the African plain, beyond his walled garden, and this is what he saw. Lots of animals having fun at a waterhole. They were splashing and splashing and mucking about and laughing and playing hide and seek. I want to have fun like that, decided the crocodile. He rushed down to his pool and splashed and splashed about. Splash, splosh, but it wasn't the same on his own. Micah laughing and mucking about, but it just wasn't the same. He tried playing hide and seek with Jenkins, his butler, but Jenkins wasn't very good at hiding. The crocodile soon became bored. He became bored with his books, with his films, with his flowers, his planes, motorbikes, cars, helicopters, and even the stars. Jenkins, he sighed, take me to the waterhole, want to play with the others. So off they drove across the sun-scorched, African plain to the waterhole. When they got there they found no animals, and hardly any water. Where is everyone? asked the crocodile. They must have gone off to find another waterhole, explained Jenkins. This one's dried up, but I want to play with them, cried the crocodile. It's just not fair. My swimming pool never dries up. Sometimes life isn't fair, said Jenkins Wisself. Why not? demanded the crocodile. Ah, uh, well, you're very lucky, said Jenkins. You are, after all, the richest crocodile in the world. Yes, I am, the crocodile said, but suddenly, he felt very sorry for the other animals. Then he had an idea. Jenkins, he cried take me to my plane, and he took off, and whooped and swooped with a great big banner, saying, come, to, crocs, for all the animals, far and wide, to see. And one by one and two by two, all the animals arrived at the crocodile's mansion. Come in, come mind welcome all he sang. First the animals sploshed in the crocodile's luxury pool, then they laughed and mucked about in his gorgeous garden. They had a marvelous time munching on watermy and ices, huge jellies and chocolate pie. The crocodile had never felt so happy in his life. Why don't you all come and live here with me? He asked. Then you'll never have to worry about anything ever again. That's very kind of you, said an elephant. You have a lovely home and it's fun to be here, but our place is out on the plains, under the sun and the stars. Life isn't always easy, but that is what makes it so good. For us, every day is an adventure. Oh, I see. Sawed the crocodile, thought Fally, but don't go yet. Let's play one last game of hide and sec. Denkins is IT, and off they all ran. Denkins wasn't any good at hiding, but he was very good at seeking. He found the elephant easily, and the hippo, and one by one, here, and everywhere, he found all the others too. All? Except the crocodile. Where could he be? Ham, said Jenkins, pecking over the wall, and Eros the plane. What's this? follow me, everyone. So the animals jumped into whatever they could find, and drove, rode and flew after Jenkins, across the scorching African plain, and far off, in a gorgeous blue waterhall shimmering in the sunlight, they found the richest crocodile in the world, wearing nothing bad as fez, you know what, he said, I want every day to be an adventure too, Horavi good for yowl yelled all the animals. And do you know, the crocodile stayed with his friends living in the waterhole on the scorched African plain. He's still rich, but in a different way now. The End